about to be on our way to the mall um so anthony can find something to wear to my mom's wedding tomorrow um i got past this poppy store i was looking for more of those rick ross chips they are so good y'all but they was only at the poppy store in philly that i seen the winner didn't have them have them but i got some hot chips i love hot chips so the poppy store got some hot chips and they have the beef hot sausages so good with hot chips and I haven't had this in a really long time. Clear fruit. Oh my God. I normally get the strawberry. I used to get the strawberry kiwi one, but they don't have none. So I got these. And then some hot Doritos. But Wrap Snacks are my favorite chips. Like, they were so good. It was lemon, pepper, sweet chili. So hopefully I can find them again. I only bought two packs. I should have got way more than that. And then, of course, if you know, you know, so good. But yeah, I had a taste for like some chips and stuff but yeah we better be on our way no we better be on our way and i guess i will see y'all when we get to the mall y'all let me tell y'all something funny real quick it's this lady next to us and i just so happy to look over and i'm like is she crying so i'm like really trying to look at her to see if she's crying because you know i'm just gonna wish her well not to her but in my head i'm like you know what i'm just wish her i don't want to put the camera on her that's rude said it i Anthony, I said, is she crying? <laughs> they gonna say, nah, she definitely do look like she crying. I never see somebody just sitting there looking like they're crying, but she's not crying, y'all. I don't know what the hell she was doing. You gonna say she smoked something. <laughs> but her face was like, I can't even make it. It was like, <laughs> trying to do it. What was she doing? It was like, no, that's not how she did it. I don't know, y'all. It was really weird. Look at this girl back here. Look how she's still in sleep, y'all. Have I ever showed y'all this? I'm alive. I'm dead. <laughs> I got a buffalo pizza, the lap bread, Caesar salad. Anthony got a shrimp flat bread. So I know this is not vegan, but we do let her have Caesar salad. She loves. What kids y'all know eat salad? Huh, Lini? Do they know any kid that eat salad? No. Uh. <laughs> but she's not like a big pizza eater or anything. She really loves salad. She like, Mom, I want salad. Lady, what's that? Hey. What what is that? Salad? Yeah. Salad. You want daddy to give you pizza? So when we do give her pizza, we take the cheese off of it. And she's not really a big fan of pizza. She just really loves salad. Fit. Come on, come in. Wedding bite. <laughs> you look like you're gonna sing. Do it doesn't matter. Unless you give it a try. True. Wait, y'all, this is the fist. You get the kick and you get the freaking. Stop, Celine. Bad parenting. Look at Celine. Like, look at yeah, she pushed him away. She said, go. Don't be touching my mommy. We kind of let her rock out in here, y'all. She's going to give me wedding vibes. You know you want to break the dance? Get her hair out. Hi, guys. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I'm going to do her hair at the hotel, but she hurt her forehead yesterday. So me is going to get some makeup today. First of all, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Her dress shipped to Atlanta. How, how? I don't know how. I could have sworn I put in here. But anyways, we're about to go to David's Bridal right now so I can find her something to wear. And then go to the hotel. Like, this is just too much. Look, y'all, I called my mom to see like if they had breakfast and stuff because we're gonna have mimosas. Here come him, oh, they got breakfast? They got mimosa? My mom gonna say, Andy George. Yeah. Andy George. This lady said, Andy George. Okay, right here, David's bridal. Hello. Let's go, Lini. Wish us luck, y'all. They got us covered. So these are all the flower girls' things. 
Come on, Lainey, and look, y'all, here's the clearance. We love a clearance. Celine, come on, baby. Mommy has to get you a dress. <laughs> Too long. You have to take it off, Mommy. You cannot fit this one. So we'll probably go with this one. The flowers at the bottom. Come on. You know, Celine is so skinny. Let Mommy take it off. Okay, come on. We'll go bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, we eat. You want to eat, eat? Come on, let's look at this one. Come on. Ooh. Look, that's nice. Okay, we're gonna get this one, okay? Beautiful. She likes it. You like it? Ooh, pretty girl. Pretty girl. Okay. We have to come to DSW. Y'all know she loves to color. And I love these because all you do is fill it back up with water. But Yeezy always bites hers. But they had this at DSW, so cute. And you could just keep reusing the um, pad, which I love. Anthony thinks that I just attract all the crazy people. I was leaving out of DSW. I did not say nothing to this lady. She was in front of me and she turned around. She's like, oh, and she was like, girl, let me tell you, they motherfucking asses was following me all around in the motherfucking store, just talking shit. She said, I'm a grown ass woman. What the fuck I need to steal for? I'm like, right, it's just DSW. <laughs> so then I'm walking out and she still keep going. I don't know this lady, but you swear that I just be talking to people. Like I be trying my best to just yeah, be nice. That shit. I attract it because people like, if you know me, you know I egg the shit away sometimes. But I was in a rush. I didn't have you time. You coming out? I seen your face. I'm like, oh, look at this shit. How was my face? Like, <laughs> she acting like she's so into the damn conversation. <laughs> I was trying to do whatever to keep this lady. So what are you there for that? Like, come on, baby, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got a wedding to get to. For her. So where my old office used to be. We got. Yeah, just like yes, give me kiss first. Mm -hmm. I had to feed my child, you know. So, yeah, your child. I'm gonna have me a little mimosa. Mom, where my mimosa go? I got the little baby. Who, little baby? Oh, so let me show you what we got. We got, we got fish and grits from the hood. Alright, good, excited. Um, okay, so okay, now wait. Could you pour? Oh, where's my mimosa? Future? Yeah, that's inside the reception. Alright, y'all. Hi, guys! Oh, she said hi, guys! <laughs> Alright, so let's go. When is she walking, Lainey, when she says, I wait? I mean, finally. Finally. You start with the right or left? It don't matter. Turn it up and the camera's like, yeah! Yeah! Lainey, say, when it comes to a drink, let the choir sing it. I'm a heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think you were going to do that. Sade, y'all, she is the yeah. best makeup artist ever. Yeah. Listen, Sade used to do 
my makeup and my model's makeup for free because I was broke just starting out. Aww. She did. She Look did. And I would exchange. I would exchange and give her free products. And I was like, yes. well, Shade, this kind of equals up. She's like, girl, I'm not worried about that. I'm just, I'm just supporting. Yep. So I had to make sure I gave a good deed by getting her to do awesome. my mom's wedding. Yes. Say hi, Lini. Show them your book. So they like, she yeah. What you need? Oh, good. So cute. Come on, Lenny. Wow. So this is where the wedding is going to be. So they messed her bun up already. Like, come on. This is the violinist. My phone is inside. This is Shanique, y'all. But all of me. It's my mom's best friend. She is the planner. Look at her. She got her binder. She's just the crowd. <laughs> she gets into it, period. Okay, we got Aunt Jackie down here. This is so nice, you guys. Hi, Aunt Jackie. So this is for this one. I do everything. everything. Uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, it quasi contemporary cuisine. Okay, and what's your Instagram? The kitchen, yes. Lazy I'm Lazy underscore kitchen now. All right, I'm going to add the links under here. And all this looks amazing. We're now just getting started. This is because I had a whole Celine, y'all. She was supposed to be the flower girl and she just was cutting up. But let me show you guys the Mr. and Mrs. I take pictures, so y'all gotta stay right here. Mom, how'd you walk down when they played that song? She said, yeah! Uh -huh, that's what we were trying to get her to do. Period. What I said? You were real stank with it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah real stank. That green looks really pretty on you. Say that way that we are now sisters. We are officially bros and sis, period. <laughs> New stepdad, how you feeling? I feel great. You feel good? You did well, I feel relieved. Look, look at the outfit though, the shoes. Yo, Shoe check. Okay, period. Look, look, Talking about that Adrian in the building, of course. All right, baby, ready to party? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Lenny, ready to party? Yes. So Lee was cutting up. When she seen Freddie, she said, hey. She's trying to get his attention. You were shaking the flowers all yes. the way. And then by the time Freddie seen her, she was dry. <laughs> what you ready for? I'm ready to party. Are we food. taking pictures? Or yeah. Yeah, we need to take pictures. I'm ready to break dance. I got I got to come to twerk to me. Let's get this job. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Moody. Hi. Is it what? It's my vlog. My YouTube. Is it live? It's live. Okay, what's up, people? This is my Uncle Moody, y'all. This is my mom's older brother. Older. And what part are you ready for? You gonna get some drinks, dance? What you ready to do? I'm ready for it all. First of all, the best part was her getting married, obviously. Yes. He's the only married sibling. <laughs> follow this too, you know? We gotta follow the leader. Period. But, but then yeah. after this is all party, because we about to party with her and the whole family. Yes. Yes. And right now, tell them, what are you looking forward to? Right now. You know what? I am so excited. We're gonna be one big family. We're gonna yes. be lots of traveling, lots yes. of business ventures. We're gonna yes. make lots of money. We're gonna make money. a lot of business ventures. We're gonna make a lot of money. Cause it's right. We're gonna make your dream work. That's right. That's right. The Wing family. That's it. The Wing family. Look at them teeth. Hold on. Get into them teeth. You see it? You know they said they're two W's. The wealthy wings. The wealthy wings. Oh boy. This kind of place you there. And oh, absolutely. Celine is ready to eat and turn up. Can you give daddy a kiss? Uh, uh, 
so cute. Oh, oh, oh. the baby. <laughs> Yo, did you ever hear that? Yes. I was trying so hard not to cry. Yeah, I sweated my hair on everything, y'all. It was so beautiful. I can't wait to turn. You ready to turn up? Baby, you ready to turn up? You ready to turn up, Mama? Say turn up. I pray to the Lord, I rise to the Lord, gonna 
work with the Lord. I pray to the Lord. Father, mother, Jambele. Everything for your Jambele. Oh, Jambele. Oh, yeah. You are not a friend of me. No. Baby, you mean more to me. More to me. You are not a friend of me. No. Baby, you mean more to me. More to me. Baby, call you back, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah You looking like me, oh, yeah, oh, yeah You see me be like I'm not a naughty writer Let me please you right tonight Don't make plans tonight, yeah, no But, get it, oh, no Come to me, to me Come to me, let's go Come and come to me, yeah If I do my jambele, oh jambele, oh I pray to the Lord, I rise to the Lord Gonna greet the Lord, I pray to the Lord If I do my jambele, everything being safe again, no oh. Everything for your jambele, oh jambele, oh, oh. Okay, y'all, so this is the end of this vlog. As y'all can see, I got my hair pressed out. This is Dare to Have Hair tapins. Um, so for my mom's wedding, I actually got tapins. As y'all can see in the video, it was curled. I just got back from Jamaica, which I'm editing that vlog right now. Um, this vlog had deleted like twice with me trying to edit. So I'm so annoyed right now. So this outro is all over the place. I was like, let me just do a new outro because I had something. Y'all know I always come with something that I want to talk about. Something was on my heart. Don't mind easy right now. He's snoring, y'all. He's asleep. But this is Dare to Have Hair Tapins. I have two bundles of 22 inch at the top and then two bundles or whatever you call it of 24 at the bottom. Y'all, this blends so well with my hair. Y'all know my cousin did my hair. Let me tell you something. People from Philly, they just do hair different. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, my cousin, she uses the hot comb on the stove to get every nook and cranny on my head. Like, it's... It's just always given when she does my hair. But anyways, what I wanted to talk to y'all about is, like, lately, I know everybody been trying to get back on their shit. Everybody trying to, you know, make it to the top. Everybody trying to become them better selves. Everybody's trying to become their better selves right now. And I just feel like, listen, y'all, let me give y'all a quick little story. So, back in 2020, um, I feel like that's when I was at my peak, my prime. I'm not even going to say my prime because I don't even think I reached my prime yet. I'm on my way though. And I feel like 2020 for my business, everything was doing so well. Like it was a lockdown. I was saving a lot of money. I was pregnant. Um, so I didn't really have too much task as far as being a mom. So I had a lot of more free time to focus on my business and kind of be a little bit more selfish still at that time. And when I tell y'all my business was doing amazing, it was doing amazing. And that's when I had dropped my new packaging for my lip glosses. So for the longest... Um, when I got those lip glosses, I always said that I wanted to have Ari or Jada in my lip glosses. I don't know if I told y'all this already, but if I did, oh well, let's listen to it again. <laughs> um, so the makeup artist that I used was Ari's makeup artist at the time, and she did my model's makeup. I was about to have a photo shoot. I had just got my inventory. For some reason, I bought extra lip glosses with me. I had everything lined up, organized. I know what model was wearing this gloss, what model was wearing this lip liner. Everything was all together. All together. 
But for some weird reason, I had extra lip glosses in my bag, like literally one of every color and one of every lip liner in my bag. So when I got to the, um, when I got to her place, her studio where she does the makeup, my models was waiting there. And I remember I see Ari sitting in the chair, um, getting there, getting her makeup done. And, you know, I try to stay out of Ari's way because I know how that is like when celebrities are in a space and they probably have a whole bunch of people coming up to them and stuff. But I needed to talk to the makeup artist, but I didn't want to go over there because Ari was over there. I didn't want her to feel like, you know, people was in her space, you know? So the makeup artist was like, hey, Jay, come here. Um, I'm about to finish up with Ari. Let me know what, um, like what colors, you know, you want to put on your, your uh, models and stuff like that. So I'm sitting there showing her the lip glosses and stuff. Mind y'all, keep in mind, I've been trying to get Ari or Jada in my lip glosses for the longest, but I couldn't. So for the longest, I was trying to get Ari, like I told y'all, but she was already in contract with another cosmetic brand. And at the time I had skincare. So I think it was like a conflict of interest at the time. So her people never got back to me. And my boyfriend was like, you know, once we get her, like it's up for you, you know, I'll spend whatever to get her for you. So I'm like, period, I need to get her. But I was so distraught that I could not get her. Like no respond. I'm like, what is going on? Long story short, Ari's sitting there, I'm showing the makeup artist the lip glosses, and Ari's like, oh my god, like these lip glosses are really cute, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, you like them? She's like, yeah, I really like this one. And I'm like, really? I'm like, well, you can have all of them, because I actually bought extra with me. I, I didn't even know. I actually bought extra with me. I was like, you can have it. And she was like, okay, thank you. These are so cute. Like, she was loving them, busting it up with me, and she ended up following me on Instagram, I think, like, that day she had asked me for my Instagram and she ended up following me. So fast forward, I was so ecstatic. I'm like, wow, Ari took me. Now as a businesswoman, like of course I would have loved for her to be able to post and share about my lip gloss. But to be honest, I didn't even care because me also thinking as a businesswoman, I'm like, if she has my lip glosses in her possession, that's all that matters. She could be around other people and they could be like, you know, what kind of lip gloss is that? And, you know, she's showed them what lip gloss it is and then they go look me up. So I already knew by my lip glosses being in her hands that it could get me to further places. So I wasn't even tripping if she didn't post. But fast forward, I go into labor with Celine and we had just shipped out a whole bunch of orders, y'all, like a whole bunch. So I kind of thought like I kind of got through because we had just launched. So I'm thinking that we kind of got through like our peak of sales for that week. So... I'm in bed and my Shopify is just going off. And I'm like, I haven't done no sale or anything. Like, you know, I'm used to getting orders throughout the day, but it was like back to back to back to back to back. Normally that's when, you know, I've done a sale or something big is going on. So I'm, I, I go on Instagram and so many of Ari's um, fans were sending me screenshots of her on live, y'all, talking about my lip gloss she was in the pool and she was putting on my lip gloss and she was like i love this lip gloss and people was like well what lip gloss is it and she was like shaded by jade she put it all up in the camera um cosmetic face might be shaded by jane and it smell good and people was commenting, tagging me. And like, when I tell y'all, her impact on people is crazy. Like, when I say crazy, crazy. Okay, she made me a lot of money that day and I didn't have to do nothing, okay, nothing. And I'm in the middle of having my baby. Like, I'm having contractions. Like, I wasn't pushing at that time, but I was having contractions. And her fans are sending to me. When I tell y'all, like, I was so happy. I was just so happy, but the moral of this story is, and she did not even have to do that for her. Like she didn't have to do that. She didn't even have to acknowledge me at all. But the moral of the story that I wanted to share with y'all is that when you are working and doing your part, I know that God will put people in your space, bring people to you to make it happen. Whatever it is that you've been praying on, Whatever it is, well, whatever the, whatever it is that you've been praying on, but it, of course it has to be in God's liking. He has to know that that is for you, whatever you're praying for. But if you're praying for something and you're working towards it, it is already yours. When I tell y'all, I didn't know how or what I would, even if I would ever even run into her, to be honest. Um, I just found her makeup artist because I love the way the makeup artist did makeup. But 
I did not like. How was I supposed to know that Ari was going to be sitting right there when I came to give her the makeup? For, came to give the makeup artist the lip gloss for my models. So it's like I don't. I was so frustrated when I wanted to work with her, and I felt like nobody was replying back to me. Like I was just, you know, I felt defeated because I'm like, this is probably what I need the next level for my business. And you know, I felt like, damn, like fuck it, I just had to take this L. But I literally just kept working, kept doing my photo shoots, kept posting my sales, kept working with other influencers, um, kept putting my brand out there. And like God took care of me. He made that happen for me. And that moment is always like deep in my heart whenever it goes to me sharing like a testimony or sharing like how things always work out because he made that happen, y'all. He made that happen for me and she helped my business. She didn't have to do that. I didn't pay her. So just when I thought that I had to spend top dollar to get her to promote my brand, and I was at the point where I would take any type of promotion, whether that was on her story, whether it was that on live, whether that's her posting on her Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever. Like I was for whatever promotion just to have her in my lip gloss. And like God made a way for me to do that. And I got it for free, for free. So I genuinely feel like whatever it is that you want to do for yourself, your brand, don't worry about how it's going to come. Don't worry about um, who's going to give it to you. Like, that's none of your business. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, that dream of yours is already yours. It's on the way. God is, like, cooking it up for you already, right? So, like I said, back in 2020, that was, like, my best year. And within this time, I've been focusing on YouTube a little bit more. So, my business has not been getting the tender love and care that it needs. And... I was like, damn, I'm over here talking to my vendors and somebody, do listen, somebody is hating on us right now. Somebody don't want me to get this message out to y'all because my camera literally keeps dying. But anyways, and I know this is a message for y'all because I prayed and it's heavy in my heart, which means I have to share. So at the time that I had that packaging for my lip gloss, so many people had the same packaging, which is totally normal because a lot of these vendors they offer the same packaging to a lot of people who do um, wholesale or hot stamping or um, private label, right? So I'm like, mm, it's time for me to switch it up. Mind you, Ari ended up working with another brand that had the same packaging than me. And even when they did their logo, they still did like the holographic logo that I had. And so many people was like, oh my God, like Jay, we thought this was your lip gloss and the colors was very similar, everything. And I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to switch things up again. Like it's time for me to bring that heat. So I've been talking to my vendors and stuff and I've been, and I've been changing my packaging. And, you know, I just been feeling overwhelmed all over again because I haven't tapped back into my business like I did back in 2020. I mean, it lasted up until like 2021, but I haven't been tapped in. I haven't started this whole rebrand process since 2020. So I'm overwhelmed and I'm just like stressed out because one thing about me is I know that when you're something great, people are going to emulate that. People are going to copy that, which is cool. If people ain't copying you, you ain't doing something right. I don't even want to call it copying, but y'all know what I mean, because everybody is inspired by something like we, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But if people are not influenced by you or people ain't doing what you doing and they don't that, you ain't doing something right okay when people are doing what you're doing copying your little twist copying your little flow trying to do what you do that means you're doing something right because before i used to be like so annoyed like oh my god like people copying my lip gloss names people copying my packaging people copying my logo design holographic like i did that holographic thing and now like everybody was doing a holographic thing so it's like you know at one point i was in my bag like what is going on like i don't like this because i felt like i was working and my hard work was being overshadowed because bigger brands would sometimes steal my lip gloss names or bigger brands would you know steal little uh ideas and stuff that i had or like my layout it, it goes deep and I that used to really frustrate me but it also makes me feel good to know like okay people are paying attention right so anyways I'm changing the packaging and stuff and I'm just overwhelmed I'm just like oh my god like this is a lot having to be up late talking to my vendors and stuff before I was pregnant when this was all going on so you know I could sleep throughout the day if I wanted to but now I gotta get up with my baby so being up late talking to these vendors have been crazy I'm a night owl again so I'm scrolling on Instagram again. As I'm feeling distraught, like this is too much, I see Diara 
post this bomb ass photo shoot that she did y'all she had like a phone up to her ear and she had her youtube plaque and the caption was like if i did it once i could do it again and it showed that she had a million subscribers boom light went off in my head like she's right if you could do something once you can do it again because that What's in you don't never leave you. It's within you. So if you made some shit happen before and God assisted you and God made it happen for you, it can happen again. It can happen again. If you did it once, you could do it again. It's harder when you ain't never did it before because you're trying to figure out how, where, what. But when you did it before, you know what the pros was. You know, you know what the cons was. You know your weakest point. You know your strength. You know all of that stuff. So instead of getting all sad about having to start all over or having to do it again just be happy that you got it within you to do it again that's my message if you could do it once you could do it again and my second message is don't worry about how where what who and why it's yours do the work just do the work a lot of times we be playing victim in our life like oh i wanted this to happen and you know you ain't been working out so you ain't lose that weight. Because I do that all the time. Like, oh my God, I just need to lose a few pounds. Knowing damn well, I was just eating pasta at 10 o'clock at night the other night. Eating ice cream. Not working out. But I'm mad that I'm not losing weight. Like, stop playing victim. Be real with yourself. Take accountability. You sitting there complaining that you don't got no extra money to do this. Or you complaining that you want a new car. You complaining that you want to move out of your house. You complaining about all this stuff. I promise you there's a way around everything. You can't move into that new house. You want that house that you really want so bad. But the rent too high. Hustle harder. Get a second job. Make it happen. Make it happen. Your credit messed up. You can't get this in your name. Can't that's your name. People, it's millions of people that fix your credit. You can learn how to fix your credit on YouTube. Lock in six months. Get it right. Get it right. Take accountability. I'm teaching myself that because I'm quick to make an excuse. If you know me, you know. I'm quick to make an excuse. But you really gotta be real with yourself. Like it's really you versus you. Shut everybody else out. I was so concerned about. This person doing this because I did this first. Then I'm so concerned about, oh my God, my subscribers, they're taking too long to grow. Or I'm sitting here worried about me doing something twice, having to do it all over again. At least I am able. I know how God always come through for me. He's If he could do it once, he could do it a million times, okay? So why am I tripping? I'm cool. I got the plan. All I got to do is put in the work. He's going to bless me. Blessings don't come just from not doing nothing. You gotta have a clean heart and you gotta be putting the work in. I feel like that's how you're gonna get your blessings. So that is my message to y'all. Again, let's stop stressing. Have accountability for yourself. Do what you're supposed to do. Stick to the plan, okay? I love y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I know I went on my little rampage at the end, but it's always a new message for me, y'all, to share with y'all because I'm literally going through the motion. A lot of the times I don't wanna post my content because I feel like I need to look a certain type of way or my hair need to be done or I feel like I said something wrong. I feel like I'm not speaking clear enough. I don't know, I always find something wrong with my content, but I want y'all to see the growth and see me um, through the hard times, obviously, of me getting to where I want to be because it's already mine. It's already yours. We're going to get there. But a lot of people don't show the in-between and the transparency, and that's where I come in at. Like, I know for a fact, for a fact, there's no other influencer like me. There's not. There's no other influencer like me. I can't even describe my content because it's a little bit of everything, but I want y'all to walk away with something after watching my videos. I don't want y'all to see, even though it's not my responsibility, to um make y'all comfortable no shade i love y'all but it's not my responsibility to make y'all comfortable or to build y'all confidence that's not my job but because i feel like i'm also a woman of god i have a soft spot for people and i really want people to watch my videos and walk away feeling empowered and feeling like if i could do it you could do it too because i'm gonna be real with y'all not everybody is meant to be a boss not everybody is meant to be an influencer not everybody is meant to be a superstar that's cool but for those who watch my stuff and they want more for themselves they want to be happy they want to get to the the next level then these messages be for y'all okay so i know a lot of times when i watch certain content 
before I used to feel like, damn, I'm not gonna be able to get that. I remember when I used to think 100K subscribers was so hard and then y'all got me there. Y'all got me there. That's nothing but a blessing by me doing my part, putting the work in, putting out my vlogs, staying consistent, me connecting with my subscribers. Like I'm doing the work, God bought me the blessing. That's it, do the work, God gonna bring you the blessing.